Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gay Boy Psychic here at your service, making the universe a better place with positive karmic energy. Let's go. So for all my new viewers out there, just know that I am a semi-psychic and I'm very, very sassy. So look at this picture right now and know that I'm not like coming for like to harass people online or to cyber bully online. It's just my personal opinion and subscribe if you're interested in my personality. That being said, don't judge that I like to swear a lot, so it is what it is. But anyways, okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. So for all my loyal fans out there, <laughs> I know that you guys missed me. And trust me, I've been going through it the past like two weeks that I didn't post. And the reason why I didn't post is because I just, I don't want to get striked again. You know, and like, I'm just really, really paranoid and I think that um, the YouTuber admin that gave me a strike, like, literally is, like, giving me, like, a mental breakdown right, right now. So I'm just, I've built this channel and I worked so hard for it to get so many subscribers and to get a loyal fan base. Like, my dreams are coming true. So blame it on the YouTube admin that, like, gave me a strike for no reason to all my loyal fans out there. So just see it that way. I wasn't ignoring you guys. Like, I really, really missed you guys and i know that you guys love me so god that much and i'm just so fucking happy that you guys agree with me and to continue to watch my videos and uh to continue to get entertained by me and i feel like crying but i'm not gonna cry because you know i missed you guys so much but i have to stay strong and just fuck you to the youtube admin that gave me a strike for no reason like seriously fuck you and you guys like the youtuber admins that didn't give me a strike like I want you guys to review that person and like get them fired because they gave me like a mental breakdown for the past two weeks because I was so scared that my channel was gonna get striked again and therefore like it was gonna get terminated and I worked so hard and I'm not gonna allow that to happen. So forgive me fans, but that's the honest truth. But that being said, um a lot of stuff has been going on and I'm just like freaking out because like I just I miss I know that you guys missed me so much, like my lo my loyal fans. And trust me, like, I fucking miss you guys so much as well. And I I, like, I feel like crying, you know, because, like, I just love the support that you guys give me. And you guys realize that, like, I'm not, like, this cyber bully um, gay dude that hates the world that or that's, like, harassing people online like the YouTuber admin that gave me a strike uh, accused me of. So if for all my new fans out there, watch my other videos. You guys will know what I'm talking about because I'm not going to repeat myself, but... Yeah, that being said, I trust me, I missed you guys so fucking much and I like I wanna cry. And I'm probably gonna cry during this video because it's very you know, dreams are just coming true for me and it's like tears of happiness, but like at the same time I don't want my dreams to like crash down from like a horrible YouTuber admin that hates me for no reason. So yeah, cheers to God for having my back and you guys for having my back as well. So I'm going to take a sip of my coffee because that's what I always do during videos. It helps me concentrate. So just know that this is not edited. So relax. So cheers. And I bought like Tim Hortons coffee again. So I was drinking like Maxwell coffee before, but now I'm drinking Tim Hortons again. So yeah, that, that being said, Tim Hortons is definitely my favorite type of brand of coffee out there. It's really, really strong and... Yeah. Um, but anyways, so this video, we're going to be talking about um, Adam McIntyre specifically and a little bit about Trisha Paytas. But um, for my loyal fans out there, like you guys know that I fucking love Mortal Kombat and like the video games. Like I don't just talk about like YouTuber drama. I'll talk about like video games or movies or anything that just interests me in general, you know, so um, so yeah, I love this video game called Mortal Kombat for my new fans out there and I was debating on making a video like just separately on Mortal Kombat, but I realized that like it does get like a like it doesn't get like too little v views, but like compared to like the whole like Colleen and Trisha and Adam McIntyre situation, like I'd rather just do the Adam McIntyre situation. So I'll just like I'm thinking of like making a Jeffrey Star video as well because Jeffrey Star just did his um, meet <laughs> and greet shop freaking opening and that was it's crazy a lot of gossip channels already covered it and i want to say my input because i haven't heard from jeffrey star in a long time and you guys know i love jeffrey star however like i don't agree with everything that he says but i still like will always love him because he inspired me to be me <sighs> so i'm gonna cry
because like i just love jeffree star so much you know like he's such an icon for like the millennial like i'm a millennial so like i'm not that much younger than jeffree star but like just like growing up like and being like a gay person like a gay guy and just like too scared to like come out of the closet and just like secretly watching videos of jeffree star like in his pink wigs and just like doing this thing like that's what i would do in my spare time like whenever i would just like was bored i would just do that <laughs> and, like he inspired me and i just like if he's listening to this right now like and he knows i'm pretty sure that he did listen to my videos before because i mentioned in one of my videos that i made about him that like i compared myself to like this black hole and nobody has ever made that like you know comparison before and then i saw in one of his interviews like he was or maybe i don't know if it was interview but it was some random video where he like compared himself to a black hole as well so i think that he does listen to my videos and i think that he does like realize how much i love him so jeffrey please comment bro i just if you're watching this like i fucking love you and don't think that i hate you because i was a little bit harsh on you on some of the stuff that you've done in the past but just know that i have always loved you and i was just disappointed that's all but that being said um fuck maybe i should make a fucking video because i'm just like i'm trying to grow my youtube channel like as much as possible and and i know that like i got like fucking 10 whole subscribers like last month or not even last month but like the past two weeks i got like 10 new subscribers so welcome to my channel you guys please don't unsubscribe know that like i'm not perfect but i try my best to be perfect and to make you guys happy so please 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 don't unsubscribe but anyways um so i don't know like i feel like i should make a jeffree star video and i and i want to make a whole separate mortal Kombat video as well and i think i'm just gonna do it because i don't even give a shit about like if he doesn't get any views i just want my fucking uh opinion on those topics because mortal Kombat is coming out very very soon and the prediction video that i made about it like all the things fucking happen so yeah um i'm definitely gonna do it okay so that being said um share my channel if you guys are interested in my um freaking personality and i can't talk too long because i'm gonna bore you guys so just i'm gonna cut to the chase and let's talk about the whole trio or adam and colleen situation because shit has been fucking crazy so in the last video i made i said that adam was going to los angeles and he did end up going there and when he originally made that video saying that he was going to go to los angeles um basically fucking he <laughs> um sorry i like to swear a lot don't judge and i'm looking down at notes don't judge but um yeah he was like making it under the impression that like he was gonna be doing like a bunch of like interviews that's th what i got from it and not just me like that's just how he made it portray himself to be like w everybody thought that he was gonna go to los angeles and, and then do like a bunch of interviews just talking about colleen because i'm pretty sure he did say it but then he ended up just going to disneyland with his mom and with that weird ass much older woman cat and her like supposedly she has like a girlfriend didn't know that but um i always did not like this cat person i think that she's just very like a cloud chaser basically and she's very she's supposed like she's like a journalism and um she just like you can just tell that she just wants clout that's all there is to it and she's very unprofessional and i don't understand why adam is like best friends with her like because like he always mentions in his videos he's like yeah my best friend cat my best friend cat and i'm thinking in my head and i know everybody else is thinking this we're all thinking when he says that it's like bro she's not your best friend she's just using you like you need to get like a reality check adam sorry if that sounds mean or cyberbullying i'm really not like i actually care for adam and i can tell her a lot and this video is mainly going to be about him so being a lgbt member like a gay guy myself like i have i feel like it's my responsibility to protect other gay guys especially younger gay guys because um you know us gay guys we still have it the hardest in the world in my opinion because the world is still very very homophobic and transphobic and um i've always said in the beginning of my channel that like i just want you know gay guys to like unite and to stop fighting each other because we already have it hard with all the homophobia so 
it's just gonna make it harder on each, each other's life if like we're gonna be like finding each other so i've always said that like even though like i despise like peter mon and his like rude behavior um i still will rather hang out with him than like a cisgender straight girl or like a cisgender straight guy because or even like a lesbian just because like you know we're gay guys we we know what it's like to be gay and to be a male and it's just like we have to empower each other because you know the world basically still hates us and we have to empower each other and stay strong so that's my two cents on like the whole lgbt community like why i'm making my channel so i hope you guys realize and sorry i bought a new fridge last a couple over last weekend so a couple days ago and it's like a mini fridge and it's sorry about the noise in the background it's that's why like you guys heard a noise sorry i'm just like kind of paranoid right now because like it's hot as fuck and when i when i'm like hot i get paranoid i don't know why so um i had to turn off my fan because like i um like it's a really powerful fan so it basically works the same as an air conditioner and um i just had to shut it off while making this video because you guys would hear it so i'm just really really hot right now so sorry if i'm like being messy it just please put yourself in my shoes but and don't judge so yeah so anyways like i i feel like it's my responsibility to talk about adam mcintyre and just to give my two cents opinion and just my advice for him because keep in mind that like the whole colleen for my new fans out there and my loyal fans know this but um like i did semi predict like the whole adam mcintyre colleen situation so i randomly made a video about adam mcintyre and how like i'm a fan of his and i watched his vlogs and he was like sitting on the airport alone and he was traveling to like london by himself for like three days it was really really sad so i made a video and i i just basically like said that i felt sorry for him and then i prefer him with blonde hair over the brown hair and then like the next day i made a video about colleen and trisha and their podcast and like i never talk about colleen so the fact that like and that was the first time that, well, I made a video about Adam McIntyre before, but I rarely talk about him. So the fact that, like, two random subjects that I was talking about and then they're, like, involved in this whole drama that is, like, the biggest drama of 2023 so far just shows that I am semi-psychic, even though I didn't predict that they were going to get into, like, a whole, like, uh, internet beef situation. I just, like, what are the chances that two random people that I talk about, like, is, like, the biggest, like, they're coming together and like they're just beefing with each other and it's like the biggest beef of 2023 so far like that's how like my fucking psychic mind works like i just like connect things together and i'm not sure why because i don't talk about clean ever but i just felt the need to do it and therefore you know shit happened so it just goes to show like this is why i'm making my youtube channel like it's for a purpose like i know that being here and you know inspiring others to think properly as cocky as that sounds like is my goal in life and i feel like crying because like um so i'm friends with like real life psychics like on facebook and i'm not gonna say who they are but like they're really really famous and they know who i am and they gave me a like on my profile picture and i'm just so excited and i just love them so much and yeah so that being said i'm gonna cry sorry give me a second Like, this is not edited, so this is the real me, and I just want people to subscribe if you just like realness, because I'm all about being real and keeping it real. So cheers to keeping it real and one more sip of coffee, and then I'll continue with the whole Adam thing. I'm scared that this video is going to be, like, fucking 40 minutes long, but I haven't talked um, to you guys in, like, two weeks because I was scared shitless that my account was going to get banned, so forgive me. But, like, I just... I'm fucking freaking out right now because I just missed you guys so much and that's why I'm talking a lot. So chill. <sighs> okay. So, <sighs> fuck. You guys, I love you so much and I miss you guys so much. But anyways, um, so yeah, Adam McIntyre, like I watched like the whole fucking five videos a day that he was posting like in Disneyland. And like I said in my previous video before, I love seeing Adam McIntyre vlog. Like I, I'm like, he reminds me of like an, a Harry Potter character and I really want him to change his hair color back to blonde because um, it's just like, it's it suits him. Like he looks like Draco Malfoy. I don't know how to explain it. And it gives like, cause Adam is clearly like a gay and he's like a twink. So him with the blonde hair just suits him better than him with the brown hair. Cause 
yeah um but so he went to disneyland basically and um i was like just i was watching the whole thing i loved seeing him eat like he he makes food look good like he ate like pasta fettuccine or something with cat and then like um he ate that like fried pickle with like the um freaking peanut butter so um it's crazy that he ate that because i was watching a rylan adams vlog and him and lizzie um ate the same thing so now adam mcintyre was eating it as well so that was a coincidence and um he just made it look so good and i love the outfits that he was wearing um basically i just i prefer when adam is like you know like wearing like flamboyant outfits because it just suits his personality more and i just find it entertaining to watch him vlog in these like crazy ass like outfits because there's this one vlog where he was wearing like this fucking it was like this green like super i don't even know how to explain it um keep in mind he's 21 now but like he's wearing like this outfit where like he was walking around like at freaking nighttime and i don't know like who the hell was filming him but like he was walking as if like he was like i don't even know how to explain it just like i don't want to be offensive but like the outfit that he was wearing i swear to god it was like a okay i'm not gonna say what i'm thinking because i don't want to get fucking banned so you guys know what i mean like just the outfit that he was fucking wearing i was i was like what the fuck is he wearing like i wasn't complaining but like I just was shocked because, like, I, oh my God. like that's why I'm making this fucking video is because you guys know. Like, if you guys know, you know. Like, if especially if you're a gay guy, you, we we know. You guys know. Like, shit like that, like, it just drives me crazy. Whenever I see, like, other gay guys just wear, like, crazy-ass outfits like that, just, like, randomly in public, I'm, like, fascinated. And I, I don't want to say anything that's going to sound offensive. So I'm going to chill the fuck out. But, yeah, I'm just going to put put pictures here and i'm gonna name the video what the fuck is adam wearing or something because to get views because i know that's gonna get a lot of views and this is probably gonna be the thumbnail so yeah um prepare, prepare yourself and subscribe if you're interested my fucking channel sorry i'm like studying a lot um just like holy shit like the outfits that he was wearing i wasn't expecting that but i was living for it and i just like the only thing that like bothers me about adam mcintyre is that like with the whole, like, Colleen situation and, like, Corey, he's accusing them of, like, grooming him and shit. But I don't really... Th and I've said this in, like, the, the video that I made before. And I gotta be careful with the words that I say. But, like, I I'm just, like, sharing my opinion. And everybody else is saying this. And so if a YouTuber admin reviews this video and decides to give me another strike... They clearly have something out for me for no reason when I'm literally just doing the same thing everybody else is doing. So that's not fair. But anyways, um, so basically Adam like accused Colleen of like grooming him in a group chat with a bunch of others. And in my opinion, I don't think Colleen was doing it in a inappropriate behavior. I just think that since Colleen is very <laughs> girly and um, just like Adam's friend Kat, who's like similar age as colleen as well so adam has a history of like being friends with older women it's not just colleen like he's friends with cat and cat literally is like i think she's like older than colleen i don't even know but um so Corey and colleen um they basically was like telling adam to like oh my god adam you should wear this you should wear that and then adam was making so many videos as soon as he got home from Disneyland in Los Angeles, wherever he went, he was saying, like, how he felt really uncomfortable when Corey, a 37-year-old man, was telling Adam that he should wear this and that and that. Like, these just crazy-ass, like, gay outfits. But he was accusing them of, like, grooming him. But I don't think that they were grooming him. I just think that they liked seeing him in gay outfits because look at, look at what I just said. So Adam is 21 now. And I, like I said, like... I wasn't fucking, ex me being like a a millennial, I am a lot older than Adam, so I'm younger than Corey, that's for sure, but like, I love seeing Adam in like these super, super gay outfits, and am I like physically attracted to him? No, I'm not, I just like seeing him in these super, super gay outfits, and he's continuing to wear these gay outfits, so I'm like, wondering, I'm like, why is Adam like, accusing Colleen and Corey of like, all these grooming accusations when he literally is still wearing the outfits that 
they wanted him to wear because those were the type of outfits that they wanted him to wear so it just goes to show that like you know i want you guys to listen to my opinion because i'm always right i'm my name my, my name is gay boy psychic hello i'm like semi psychic and i want people to see the truth that colleen and corey they did not groom adam adam is just being a clout chaser and that's all there is to it and um he just wants attention for himself but do i hate adam no i think he's very 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 entertaining um and i think he's adorable but he needs to like chill out with like the accusations of like people that you know were his friends because that's taking it too far and that's why i said in the last video that i made is that like adam is taking it too far so that's just my honest opinion so i really hope that the freaking youtube admins do not ban me or give me a strike again because in comparison to like other people like look at peter mon this guy like goes ham and they don't give him any strikes at all like you should see the videos that he makes about like james charles and like other people like he will like yell at the top of his lungs and just say the most nastiest thing that's very very like cyberbullying and harassment and yet the youtuber admins like he's been on youtube for like 10 years now it seems and like they don't give him any strikes or anything like that at all but yet for me i made this one video about colleen and adam and they gave me a copy strike like that's so not fair and i'm like so much more nicer than peter mon so please everybody wish for every bad karma to that youtuber admin that like unnecessarily gave me a strike because that was not right and you know i could have made more videos because i know that you guys miss me but they're like trying to stop me they're trying to like bully me and intimidate me and that's not right for them to do that so please please please, please pray for me and thank you for that one lady who gave me a comment and said that she doesn't think that i deserved it either so i know that people do have my back so take that you admin you lose bitch anyways um so um that being said um yeah that's just like what i'm thinking in my head right now like the whole trisha pates has just involving herself into this situation doesn't shock me because she's just like a no she's just a, a scammer trisha pates has, she has no morals she just wants clout all the time and she wants to pretend that she's nice when she's really not and it's it's just and the videos that she's making is just like i actually might make a whole separate video about this because like i've already talked about adam mcintyre and i guess this video is just like an update to my fans so i think this video is just gonna be about adam mcintyre and i think that i'm done talking about him because i really have nothing else to say i just think that he needs to like slow down with the whole like post he's literally posting like 20 fucking videos a day and because he knows that he's getting a lot of views and he wants a lot of money and that's all there is to it like he's just like a clout chaser but i don't hate him like i i like adam like i before this whole like adam clean situation happened i made a video saying how much i respected him i did not know this was gonna happen so i'm happy that i made my youtube channel and that people don't think i'm just like jumping the bandwagon and supporting adam because i really have always supported adam and i've always had it on my youtube channel so thank god that i can like predict the future but uh and save my own self so anyways literally so that being said subscribe if you're interested in my channel so i guess the next videos that i'm going to make, be making in no particular order is going to be about mortal Kombat, and um another video is going to be about the jeffree star store opening and then i guess the other video is going to be about trisha i'm not sure in what order but three more videos coming up soon so i can be more specific because this is just like a comeback video just as explain my absence and the reason why i didn't post but i'm back and yeah i was in like a funk the past few days but i'm back so i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good so i love you guys so much and i can't wait to edit this video and just upload it right away and subscribe if you're interested in my personality and if you guys believe in me and god bless peace out